Google just released one of the best value for money smartphones on the market. It's $849 Australian, so it's probably like five or 600 USD. And I'm gonna tell you why I think it's impressive because I review smartphones and most of them are just boring. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was savage. Firstly, this houses the Google Tensor chip and the Google G3 chip, which is the same as the Google Pixel 8 Pro, which costs hundreds more dollars. Hundreds more dollars. Hundreds of whatever. It's got a 6.1 inch display with 120 hertz, which means you've got super smooth scrolling and essentially low lag display. 40% higher peak brightness and just look at how good it looks. This is one of the nicest looking slab phones on the market in my opinion. Plus, it looks heaps like the Google 8 Pro, but it's got its own vibe. And I vibe that. Besides that, I could tell you all the camera specs, but Google Pixel phones just flat out impress me and they have for years, so I highly rate them. This also has a bunch of AI software features like Best Take, where if you take a group shot of someone and one person's face looks weird, you can actually choose from a bunch of different facial expressions from that person because it takes like a bunch of rapid shots as it takes the photo and change the person's facial expression. And you can also do heaps of editing and post, you know, like removing something in the background. Oh my gosh, what else? There's also live translation, built-in V. VPN for free. Circle to search, car crash detection, seven years of software updates and security updates. I don't know why you'd buy the pro version or the regular phone. <laughs> See why I'm recommending the 8A? Like, damn.